Kat Kozak, a sister of St. Joseph living in Cleveland. Thanks for joining us for these last, last days of Advent. As of yesterday, winter solstice, the day started getting ever so slightly longer with just a smidge more daylight each day. It's a promise, more daylight coming. I'd like to share a favorite Advent quote of mine that picks up the same promise. It's from a book entitled The Advent of God by Johannes Metz. And Metz writes, we can never say that we have been born too late. We can never say that we miss God's coming because, Metz says, our awesome encounter with God still lies ahead of us. In a real sense, the holy night of Christ's coming still lies ahead for our world. His hour and his day are still on the way. This is big, this is important, especially when it feels as if we put aside so much these days. Actually, for months now, we can't help but feel as if we've, we've missed a lot of what's important. And yet, there is this promise. God is not finished yet. More daylight coming. The appearance of God in our world, in our own lives, did not end with the birth of Jesus. It is here to be seen every time we witness kindness, every time we experience or we offer forgiveness, every time we start over again, gently, without judgment, without resentment. You know, no one expected God to come looking like Jesus, the son of Mary and Joseph. They expected some great ruler or warrior king who would turn everything upside down with some grand reckoning. In fact, it was our expectations that were turned upside down. Instead of power and might, God came with love and compassion, with care for the poor and love of the ordinary, and asked us to be like God, to be like this manger-born incarnate God. We pray for the eyes and the hearts to see this happening, to see how love keeps breaking into our lives, to recognize it, and then to contribute to it. Perhaps starting with the very first person you encounter after you watch this video, perhaps the person after that, perhaps even in the way you forgive yourself and begin again. May we awaken each day to the possibility that God's advent will dawn, even today, especially today. Let's agree to pray for each other as we move through these days. Thanks for joining us today. Merry Christmas.